guys, it's Brooke. Welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you haven't been here before. I hope you guys stay. So for today's video, I am going to be doing another conspiracy theory video because I haven't done one in quite some time. And for today's conspiracy theories, we are specifically going to be talking about Disney Channel shows. I know I was one of the Disney Channel children. I feel like there's like kids who watched Disney Channel growing up and kids who watched Nickelodeon. I was the Disney Channel child loved Disney Channel, literally watched it till I was probably 15, not gonna lie. But yeah, so we are gonna be talking about some Disney Channel theories today. But quickly before we start this video, make sure you guys leave this video a thumbs up and also make sure you guys subscribe right down below, it means so much to me. And yeah, let's get into these really weird Disney Channel theories. So the first conspiracy theory has to do with Hannah Montana. So the theory goes that Robbie Ray, who was Miley Stewart's father in Hannah Montana and also in real life, um, was paying Miley's friends, Lily and Oliver, to be her friend. Basically, the theory is based off of how Miley had to move to this new school, and as a huge pop star, the father knew that she would be unable to make friends, so he hired these two actors, Lily and Oliver, to be Miley's best friends. This theory kind of makes sense, because in the show, Lily and Oliver are obsessed with Hannah Montana. Like, Oliver has pictures of Hannah Montana in his locker. They're just extremely obsessed with her. I remember an episode of Lily trying to break into Hannah Montana's like dressing room or something because she was that obsessed with her. So for them to be that obsessed with Hannah Montana and not realize that their best friend, Miley Stewart, looks exactly like Hannah Montana, talks exactly like her, it just doesn't make sense. So the theory is saying that Lily and Oliver were paid by Robbie Ray to be her friends. Like, they're just actors who pretend to be her friend, and then over time they grew a friendship with her. And yeah, that is that theory. I don't know if I believe that theory completely, but it does make sense and is weird to think about. So the second Disney Channel show we're gonna be talking about is Wizards of Waverly Place, which was one of my favorite shows of all time. So everybody remembers Selena Gomez playing Michaela on Hannah Montana as Hannah Montana's like, pop star rival, everybody remembers her being Michaela before being Alex on Wizards of Waverly Place. Well, there is a theory that Alex Russo is Michaela. Let me explain. Obviously, Alex Russo is Michaela, they're both Selena Gomez, but in the Disney Channel world, it wouldn't make sense that Michaela could exist if Alex existed because they're the same person with like completely different lives. So the theory goes, Alex Russo would get bored in her spare time and she would use her magic to make herself a pop star in California and then come back to the wizard world or wherever she lived. But she was kind of living a double life. People think this theory makes sense because Michaela kind of just faded out on Hannah Montana, which would allude to the idea that Alex's parents found out she was doing this and told her she had to stop, so she stopped. Also to back up the theory that Hannah Montana and Alex Russo exist in the same world, they are both on one of those mashup episodes with like Wizards on Deck or one of those like where they mash up like a bunch of different shows into one. So this just proves that Alex and Miley are living in the same world. So is Michaela. So Michaela must just be Alex pretending to be a pop star. And Alex and Michaela have many similarities. They dress very similarly. They have the same kind of attitude. They're both just very narcissistic and have similar personalities in a way. So that is that theory. There is also another theory about Wizards of Waverly Place, which I found really interesting that because they are wizards, Alex, Justin, and Max all have these like mental issues and that like the magic completely messed with their brains. For example, Alex is completely narcissistic. They say that Justin has OCD. He always has to have everything perfect. He always has to be on top of everything. And then Max is kind of not the brightest, you know? He is portrayed as being dumb on the show. He's a kind of airheaded character on the show. So they're saying that the magic has completely affected their brains and made them have these kind of like mental disorders or like just mental issues. The Third Disney Channel show conspiracy theories we are going to be talking about is Lizzie McGuire. This one is one of my favorite ones because I feel like this one is really creepy. The theory goes that Lizzie McGuire has schizophrenia. They say that her little cartoon friend that follows her around or talks to her 
She is just a figment of Lizzie's imagination. She's just like talking to herself, imagining this girl, which kind of makes sense. And they also say that Lizzie McGuire's friend Miranda is also a figment of Lizzie McGuire's imagination because she's in the show, but then in the movie, she doesn't appear at all. So they think that maybe Lizzie started taking medication and she didn't need Miranda anymore. So she kind of just stopped seeing her and talking to her. And time period wise, this schizophrenia idea could almost make sense because Lizzie because the show starts when Lizzie is in middle school and that is the time where kids are going through puberty and that is the years where schizophrenia starts coming up and you start seeing signs of it when you hit puberty. That theory is one of the creepier theories, like that one freaks me out, I don't know, because she does talk to this imaginary girl and then Miranda just kind of disappears in the movies, like doesn't make sense. It's weird. The fourth Disney Channel show we are talking about is Kim Possible. This one is kind of a shorter theory, but it also really makes sense. So the theory goes that Kim Possible is genetically altered. They say that her parents, who were both scientists, genetically altered her into this person she is. And they say this because they think that her body is way too fit for a 15 year old. She's just able to do these insane missions and these crazy things for a 15, 16 year old. So it would only make sense that her two parents who are scientists genetically mutated her or altered her to be this like superwoman type figure. So that one was a shorter one, but I definitely find that one to be like a no brainer. Like I totally think Kim Possible is genetically mutated. She is like not real. And obviously she's a cartoon, but like the things she can do are just unrealistic to a normal 15 year old and her parents are scientists, like, come on. Okay, this fifth theory I found is just messed up. It is like creepy, it's morbid. It has to do with Phineas and Ferb. So apparently Phineas was being bullied and he was beaten up so bad that he died. Candace is like trying to cope with her brother being dead and in doing so, she kind of just almost pretends he's alive and she like makes up that Ferb and Phineas like are doing these adventures when in reality they're not. And this theory makes perfect sense because whenever Candace goes to the mom, the mom doesn't see the stuff that's happening. She doesn't see Phineas and Ferb creating things. She never sees it. And wouldn't it just make sense that Phineas might not actually even be alive, he might be dead, and Candace is just seeing these things, imagining these things because she misses her brother. And when people don't believe her, she starts getting really irritated, maybe because she's in denial of her brother being dead. I don't know, I kind of believe that one. And the final conspiracy theory has to do with Sweet Life on Deck. I don't really know if I believe this one or what to think about this one, but apparently London Tipton is from Hogwarts and she could be a wizard. People started creating this theory after an episode of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody where London kind of got all shook when she like said Voldemort's name or something. Like Zack and Cody's teacher like said something about a man who couldn't be named and London was like Voldemort and got all like shook out of place. So apparently the theory is that London isn't stupid, she just doesn't understand the human world. They say that she comes from Hogwarts, that her parents work in like that Hogwarts world. I don't really know. I don't watch Harry Potter, I never have. But they say that her parents work in the wizard world and that's why we never see them. And London is from Hogwarts and she is living in a human world where she is trying to understand the human life. And that is why she is kind of perceived as ditzy because she's not used to this world, she's used to her wizard world. So yeah, I mean, I don't particularly believe that one. I think that one is a stretch. I don't really know if I believe any of these theories. I just think they're fun to talk about. None of these are actually proven. They're just for fun. And I don't know, I enjoy researching them and telling you guys about them. And I think you guys enjoy watching them. So yeah, if you guys do like these conspiracy theory videos, make sure you leave this video a thumbs up. And also comment down below some conspiracy theories you guys would want me to look into and talk to you guys about because I could totally make a video on those and also make sure you guys subscribe right down below I post videos every single Monday Wednesday Friday and yeah thank you guys so much for watching enjoy your Monday